had a conversation with somebody the other day. I said, I'm really like, I'm more like with a, with a W. Like, I'm more. But define that, though. Like, I'm more. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. You can't make this shit up. Bucket list. Catch five bodies. Huh? Catch five catch bodies? Five? Five. Thank how many, you. How many days do you have to catch five? I've already reached it. Come on, man. Does your bucket list reset every day, or how does yeah. that work? Wait, so did you hit five in a day? Yeah. So I guess I'm here for seven days, five times seven. I can't tell if she's bad at math or just waiting for me to answer. I can't. It's 35. Five times seven is 35. Yeah. <laughs> 35 Woo! in seven days is your goal. Yes. She belongs to the streets. Somebody in the comments says she needs Jesus. Jesus can't save these hoes. My cousin, who is younger than me, is getting married today. Meanwhile, I have credit card debt. I am in a toxic situation with one of my exes. Last week, I was so broke that instead of getting an Uber to the airport, I had a random guy from Hinge drive me. And this year, I have had chlamydia twice. So far. <laughs> God damn it. You can't make this shit up. And whose fault is that? Um, I just want to let y'all know that uh, if you guys are my friends, um, I can't go out with you guys no more. I can't be friends with you guys no more. I am not, I'm gonna stop drinking. I'm gonna stop going out. I'm gonna stop doing everything. Um, I, I'm gonna delete my social media. Uh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do all that. Uh, this is a personal decision that I made. No, nobody forced me to do it. Why the fuck you lying? Uh, it, it's all on me. It's just something that I decided for myself. So um, please, if you have my number, contact me, delete it immediately, block me if you have to. Cause yeah, I, I can't, I can't, I'm not gonna do, I can't be out no more. So please, delete me. Here, just take my balls. She took your balls. It's an evil world we live in. I think when I was in college. Was it college for you? I don't know. That's the, that's what I remember because one of my good friends from college also doesn't wash her hands. And it was like how we had that bonding experience. She, one day I was like, I I'm, I'm just not going to wash them. She was like, I'm not either. I don't <laughs> wash my hands. I don't really trust people that wash their hands because, well, one, I don't think it does anything no. to actually wash. It doesn't, it doesn't do anything to actually wash them. I do wash if I they go number two. They didn't used to wash them back in like the back way back in the day when they didn't have and you would go to the bathroom around the outhouse nobody washed their hands then and there was less diseases i sometimes like when my roommates tell them i'll have to like turn the water on because i'm like i don't want them to think i'm like disgusting i'll like text i'll like turn the water on and like take a text break <laughs> no, and be literally, like, like uh-huh when, when you're at work and someone that you know goes into the cell you're like well i guess i'll fake wash my hands now we're always in the bathroom with kate and i'm always like <laughs> we also don't shower Ugh. brother Ugh. What's that? <laughs> Chance the rapper sacrificed his career for this woman. Now the same woman is leaving him. Gentlemen, the lesson here is a man will push aside his happiness for a woman, but a woman will push aside a man for her happiness. Calling all male inhabitants, we must stay focused. Uh, hello? Hi! Oh. Uh, remember me? Yeah, who are you? I'm here because I need a husband. Oh, well, I have like three kids now. That's okay. I like kids. I like them. Alright, well, I have a second mortgage on my house and I'm in a lot of debt. Ah, that's easy. Uh, I'll stick by I, I'll stick beside you. I'll stick beside you. 
I only make fifty thousand a year, and I drive a old Toyota, and it's uh, needs work. It needs work. Mm. I know a good mechanic. He'll give you a great deal. It's great. Okay, and um, I I don't really have any plans in life. I'm just gonna play video games most of the day. I'll make the plans. I'm a great planner. <laughs> All right, well, come on in. Yes, okay, let's do this. Okay. <laughs> Women. <laughs> Eat a man. Because we're independent as hell. If a man has friends, doesn't want kids, hires a maid, and hires a pro why would a man need a woman? What? Gotcha, bitch! Shit. He could learn a thing, oh, one or thing, a two or three, what, one or two <laughs> things from a woman. Oh, like yeah. what? Love. Yeah. Love. Okay. I do you think that men are incapable of love? without a woman teaching them? No, no, no. Why do women think they're the ones who should define love and emotions? Because we're more passionate, right? We're Where, more passionate. Where's the evidence of that? As a single mom at 27, let's say I was your man, what would I need to pay for? I don't think you would need to pay for anything. I, I wouldn't see it that way. Um, I think we can both contribute to, to building a life together. Let's say I wanted to go to McDonald's and you had your kid with you. Would I be expected to pay for the two of you or just you? Oh no, just me. That's that's my baby. That's my responsibility. I wouldn't. I mean, if he wants to do that, it's fine. But I don't expect. It's not the expectation. Even if we've been dating for a while. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. No. So you're not gonna feel any type of way if I'm like, okay, let's get me a meal, you a meal, but you can pay for your kids. Um, yeah, no, I don't mind that because that's why she has her father, you know, to be able to contribute and then, you know, like I said, if he wants to do that, then that's fine. Thank you. I appreciate it. But if not, then that's fine as well. Would I need to provide anything for your child at all or? No, just kind of be there. Just be there for us, both of us. Guys, I think we found ourselves a unicorn. Now, I hope she's being open and honest and she's not saying what she's saying just because her camera is pointed at her. But I do believe once you get into a serious relationship and or marriage with this woman, she will expect you to provide for both her and her kid. Where is the weirdest place you've had? Pet Smart. I beg your pardon? With the, with the dogs? <laughs> You need help with that? Uh, huh? You need help with that? Yes, please. Thank you. Can I have your number? Huh? Can I have your number? My number? Yeah. What was that? <laughs> Physical looks, scale 1 to 10. We'll start with you. We'll go around the table. Go ahead. 8. So 8.5. I'm a 10, 7, 8. 6.5? Uh, I'd say 7.5, 4. Is that, that's lower than last time. Yeah. I, I used to say 6, <laughs> I'm a 5. In front of... <laughs> I have a question for the men. Um, have you guys ever, by any chance, Tasted your own. You know, you, you know, you know, you know what I'm referencing to. Have you ever, have you ever tasted it or had a little nibble, had a little like dip and lick? On behalf of the vast majority of men, fuck no.